What is it about the South and moonshine? We have produced most of America's best authors. We are very good at football. We are known for good manners and gracious kindness and good food and regular church attendance. But when Hollywood's cameras start rolling, it seems like every Southerner has a country cousin working a moonshine still in the woods out back. There's Thunder Road. There's the Dukes of Hazard. There's a dozen Burt Reynolds movies in which Gator or Smokey or Bubba or Buddy is depicted as a fast driving good old boy going up against the law. The word moonshine, it's old British slang. Hundreds of years old, it refers to a nocturnal activity, probably illegal. The Chronicle Archives report the phrase first appeared in 1877 in connection with a news story about the killing of a federal officer in North Georgia. There must have been some sort of crackdown on untaxed alcohol that year because a few months later another story seems to blame the harsh pursuit of federal officials for the violent response of Georgia Mountaineers. More stories follow and the newspaper seems mildly sympathetic to the plight of home distilleries. John Barnes, the old Augusta newspaper columnist, liked to tell the story about a visit by the Japanese ambassador. Someone offered him some moonshine. He took one sip, he said he didn't feel a thing. He took a second sip, still nothing. But after that third sip, he said he looked out to the room and it was filled with warm and friendly faces. You know, if we'd have tried some moonshine diplomacy, perhaps we could have avoided Pearl Harbor. In the 1960s, the front pages of state newspapers contained many accounts of clashes between the moonshiners and the law. One of the most violent was in 1967, when an Athens area district attorney was blown up with dynamite when he threatened a local moonshine baron. Five men were caught and convicted. Locally, I don't remember any dynamite cases, but I do know this. In 1968, Augusta Chronicle city editor Prentice Palmer assigned a reporter to run down a rumor about a mystery of moonshine at the old county courthouse. Mysterious sources claimed that when the original Richmond County Courthouse was torn down in the 1950s, workmen found an operational still. It was hidden in the cupola that supported the statue of Lady Justice on top. When the reporter asked around, our judges said such would have been impossible. Sheriff's deputies, on the other hand, admitted that sometimes seized moonshine equipment was stored in the building as evidence. And old courtroom bailiffs, they merely smirked and said nothing when the reporter asked. He concluded the only consistent and honorable witness would have been Lady Justice herself, but unfortunately, he said, she was blind. He should have looked closer. Our Lady Justice statue doesn't have a blindfold, but like everybody else at the courthouse, She's not talking.